The first thing you wanna do is select a new project to start a brand new scene builder in Google Flow, and this is what we're gonna use video three. Select text to video, and this is really important. Make sure that you go in and actually select the quality. You want the highest quality experimental audio where it clearly says video three. It defaults to video two, so make sure you click this before doing anything to make sure you actually are using video three. It's really easy to make good looking stuff with Veo. It was the same for Veo 2, now for Veo 3. As a start, type in a very basic prompt. In this case, I went for a woman walking down a road. And as you can see, it's a very open-ended prompt, very basic, and you can create a video like this with Veo 3, with music in the background of someone just walking down a road. Nothing specific, but you can already see that a simple prompt can already get you a nice looking video. The second level is to add a bit more description to the prompt. So we're gonna keep the same style. A woman with red hair walks down a road and we're gonna name a location now, Rainy City Exterior. And again, quite open-ended, but now you actually have a place and you have a bit more description of what the person looks like. You can keep adding this and changing this to give more and more description to your output. The next stage after this is to add some camera movement. So now we're gonna go the same thing, a woman with red hair walking down a road, rainy city exterior, but this time I want the camera to pan up to the sky. Now I wasn't too clear where the camera starts, but you can already see from the video here that they decided, Vero 3 decided to start the camera quite low and pan up to eventually seeing the, uh, like the woman's you know, upper body and face and also the sky there. You can go into more detail with how you want the camera to move, just put it in the prompt. When it comes to adding dialogue, uh, the way that I found that works best is to actually write it like a bit of a script or a story. So in this case is, yeah, a woman with red hair walks down a road, rainy city exterior. I want it to be a tracking camera so it follows her moving. And I clearly write the woman speaks and I put in some text here uh, for that. Oh no, more artificial intelligence slop. You can also add emotion to the voice as well. So we keep that same prompt again, but this time I wrote that the woman speaks angrily. Uh, you can see there is a tone in the voice as how she switches it. And you can again, adjust the emotion and the tone in the prompt as well. And it's a really good way to get a bit more control over what your character is saying. I hate everything about this world. The final step for this video, if you wanna get two different characters speaking, this is the way that I have been approaching it so far. So I put very clearly, it's a scene with two people. One is a man and a woman. You can also give them names as well. I went for a shot of more interior and I see very clearly the man has turned to the woman and asked, what are we doing here again? Uh, the woman then looks at a man with a sharp expression and responds, do you ever listen to what I say? This very clearly defines that there are two different characters and one character has a line followed by the other character having another line. What are we doing here again? Do you ever listen to what I say? I found this is the best way to get multiple voices and you can add, I think, up to three or more. I've done three voices so far, but this is the kind of prompt style I've been using so far for VR3. Hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing or liking the video. I'm trying to do more VR3 content as we're still learning how this tool works, but hope this helps you get started.